would ask you to not to be too hard with me because of my English. Uh, my mother tongue is Spanish, but I will try to communicate in, best, in the best way I can. So who in the audience think that electricity is not fundamental to our modern society and to the economy? Probably all of you think that's, that's like that, no? Without electricity, we couldn't cook, we couldn't fly, we couldn't watch TV, we couldn't read a book, we couldn't surf the web, and we couldn't make calls, we couldn't even drunk, drink water, and we couldn't have this tech talk today. But probably nobody knows that most of the world relies on electricity systems that have been built around, or at least designed around 50 years ago. So these systems are not efficient and could be much more reliable and sustainable. But don't you think that we should do something? If we are in the 21st century, we should do something about these old systems. Because otherwise, we, we could end up like in the matrix where humans uh, were used as living batteries. So, but don't panic, because there's a magic solution for all of this, and it is called the smart grid. And here is the smart grid. The smart grid is nothing else and nothing more, nothing more and nothing else, sorry, that uh, uh, a more, a smarter ma uh, power system. And now I will show you a video where you, uh, that will help you understand better what the smart grid is. Electricity is fundamental to modern society and the economy. However, most of the world relies on electricity systems built around 50 years ago. These are inefficient and cannot offer an appropriate response to today's urgent global challenges. There is an estimated $13 trillion investment required in energy infrastructure over the next 20 years. This poses an imminent need and opportunity to shift towards a low carbon, efficient and clean energy system. Smart grids will be a necessary enabler of this transition. What is a smart grid? A smart grid is an intelligent, digitized energy network delivering electricity in an optimal way from source to consumption. This is achieved by integrating information, telecommunication and power technologies with the existing electricity system. The benefits of a smart grid include improved efficiency and reliability of the electricity supply, integration of more renewable energy into existing networks, supporting the development of electric vehicles at scale, new solutions for customers to optimize their electricity consumption, reduction of carbon emissions, Smart Grid is not just about improving the existing infrastructure that empowers our world. It is about realizing the full potential of what we can offer. New transport solutions, support for new economies, and to use the resource we have in the most effective and efficient manner. <laughs> okay. So that now that you know that what the smart grid is, we can say that this this, smart, this magic solution to a more sustainable, efficient, and reliable power system. But I would like to add a little bit, a little bit more on, on this definition, and I will use for that the the European Commission's definition on the smart grid. The smart grid is an upgraded electricity network to which two-way digital communications between supplier and consumer, intelligent metering and monitoring systems have been added. So this is awesome, okay? So, but what are those intelligent metering and monitoring systems that the European Commission talks about? You probably all know that uh, from time to ha time you have to pay the electricity bill. Because if you don't pay, you don't get electricity. And how does the, the electricity company knows how much you have to pay at the end of the billing period? Okay, there is a small device which is called a power meter, which is located in a common area in your building 
and that is uh, normally being visited by a technician from the electricity company to know from time to time, once in a month or once every two months, uh, how much electricity you have con uh, uh, consumed. Okay? This is a manual process, and the smart grid is going to change that. It's actually already changing it. Uh, and now that will be, to do that, there will be a new and smart meter that is going to be able to measure in real time what is your consumption patterns and set that information through a digital communication network to the information infrastructure of the uh, electricity uh, provider. It will also provide you, uh, the customers, with the uh, next bill estimates and will allow checking online how much power is consuming your new super high definition TV. And not only that, it will, be, it will help you to know when it's cheaper to turn on your washing machine. But the information collected by the smart meters may, al may also reveal other, per may also help to uh, infer some interesting information about, about you. For example, it's been demonstrated that uh, with information coming from the smart meters, uh, a company or someone could infer how many people live in a home or which kind of electronic equipment, equipment are you using, uh, or what are your daily routines, when are you leaving for work, when are you, um, uh, for example, leaving your oven on, uh, maybe you can leave it when you're at home or, or when you are at work, or maybe even changes in those living uh, life routines. For example, are you becoming unemployed or are you living for holidays? So this is quite freaking, isn't it? Because with all this information, imagine that an insurance company decided to provide a policy rate, a policy price based on your daily habits. Imagine that this company knows that you have left the oven on while you're at work. That probably means that uh, it's much more probable to have a fire in, at your home because you are not there to turn the, 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 the oven on off. So, that's a problem. And what if criminals uh, intercepted the smart meter readings to know when you are not at home and plan a burglary? Or imagine that someone else could take control, full control, in a remote way of all the, these di digital devices, these, these smart meters, and decide to turn them off simultaneously. This will create an instability in the, in the power system, in the power grid, that could uh, eventually uh, uh, turn into a general blackout. But the smart grid is not, or, or, or it's not about smart meters only. It will bring a new range of uh, smart devices. For instance, you will have the smart switches or uh, a, a very strange word, it's called facial measurement, measurement units. These devices will make possible to have a, a much smarter uh, power system, a more reliable one. Okay, I think it's clear that we need to do something about, uh, about the security of the smart grid. However, uh, the smart grid is a very large system. It's composed of very different uh, components and uh, that, it, it, that makes the smart grid quite heterogeneous and complex. So let me, let me show you why. The smart meters that now are connected to the, to the electricity company are placed in our houses. So there will be tens of millions of smart devices that could be accessible by good people or bad people, but because they are right in your house. So, I think it's quite clear that we should keep the information coming from the smart meters confidential. But there is a whole new range of uh, smart devices will have other security objectives. For instance, for instance, uh, the, the smart switches that I told you before, or the GPS, the, uh, the, the, the facial measurement units which uh, me measure uh, the, some, some par parameters of the electric wave uh, to, to just to, to, to learn if there are instabilities in the network, should be kept uh, not, uh, without change. So the integrity is a, a key objective there. And to 
make the things more complicated. There will be tons of different different te communication technologies. Some of them will uh, will be familiar to you, like 3G, 4G, LTE, and this kind of stuff. But others will not. Like Prime, it's a more uh, IEC 61850. So if it's not if this is not enough to to see how complicated it will be to to secure from a digital perspective the smart grid. Just think about the thousands of, thousands of kilometers of power lines out there with different smart devices on top. Think about all those investments made on all the equipment which are not uh, capable of in, uh, including security uh, per se. And what's worse, <laughs> think about the security, supply, the security of the supply chain. Most of the electronic equipment is being uh, manufactured in China by Chinese people. Why are we sure that these people are not introducing backdoors or malware inside these smart devices? We need to take control of that. So what I suggest is to share knowledge among the stakeholders of the smart grid as a first step to achieve to a, a global solution for protecting this, the new smart grids. As Albert Einstein said, knowledge of what is does not open the door directly, directly to what should be. And I couldn't agree more. But uh, I think as citizens, we should ask to the public administrations to provide more information about these changes in the, in the, in the power grid that will affect uh, consumers, their privacy. And for, for that, we also should ask them to develop a regulatory framework that should address these privacy issues, but also the security issues that could have an impact to the other whole, our whole society. So thank you very much. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed my talk. <laughs>